Hey guys, so today we finally have our reservation for burger and lobster as a celebratory dinner for me finally finishing finals week so y'all can get ready for me. Burger and lobster is in the Raffles Hotel so it's a super nice restaurant and it's the food is just delicious so I'm super excited to go there and dress up all nice. But yeah, I definitely want to wear a dress but I don't know which dress. Um, it's kind of dark in my closet, that's my bad. Um, I'm thinking maybe this nice one that I got um, because it's nice and like roughly. Uh, I might pair it with my favorite set of heels, so let us see. Yeah, so I'm probably just gonna end up going with this dress. It doesn't, oh my God, it doesn't look like a dress, um, but I promise y'all it is a dress. It really doesn't look like it though. So this is the dress, it has a bunch of nice ruffles and it's really nice and tight fitted which is why i love it because i love tight fitted outfits so i'm gonna get into this and then we're gonna get my hair ready and maybe try out a bit of makeup okay so i love this dress so much it's so cute but the problem is i'm not sure if i really want to wear heels all day or all evening i guess because i don't know i mean it's like it's fancy but i don't know if it's like that over the top, so I don't know if I wanna wear heels or not, we'll see. But yeah, this is the dress, I love it so much. It's just really comfy overall, and it's tight fitted, which I love, of course, but it's not like super, it's like really stretchy material, so if I eat a lot, it won't really hurt too much, and it won't like be pressing on my stomach. So yeah, I'm happy with this dress. Okay, so first, um, we are going to, what are we gonna do first? I really want to comb my hair. It's all poofy and messy, but of course, curly hair, you can't. And I am kind of tempted to straighten it, but I don't think that I have enough time because it takes two and a half hours because I have so many layers. I have really, really thick hair. So what I'm thinking is maybe like clipping it up or something, but first I need to find my clip to do that. So I will be right back. Okay, so I found my mini clip. I like it because it's like a nice coral pink, which I like a lot. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure yet if I'm gonna stick with this, but right now I'm pretty happy with how it looks. I think it looks cute. So I think I'm gonna stick with this hairstyle, at least for now, and see how it works, see how I like it. Um, and then what I'm gonna do, I already fixed all of my nails. They're all on, which is good. Just have my nice trusted mirror here. So first, I do think I definitely want to go with this sparkle um, lip gloss that I got from Sephora because, you know, it's I always go with it, so. But yeah, so I like how that looks. I really like how it's like sparkle. And then I have my special occasion perfume that I'm definitely going to use because it is a special occasion. So I'm just going to put, I don't want to use too much in here. And then also a little bit on my wrist, but only one wrist because I can just rub it in. And then I'm just gonna go like this. Okay, and then now I kind of wanna try to do eyeliner. Usually I cannot do eyeliner. Most of the time it doesn't turn out well, but you know, we can still try. I will try once and then if it doesn't turn out well, then we're just gonna call it a day because I don't wanna keep on like rubbing my eye and like irritating it because that's what happened last time. I have this just in case, a dried makeup wipe, but I think if I just wet it, it'll be the same here. I think that might be too long, but we'll see. Oh, actually, I think that looks okay. There's like a little part there that's kind of not really connected, but also I don't want to add too much or keep on like trying to fix it because then that might make it worse in the end. Too much, so I'll just try to like dab it a little bit. I will try this one more time because I'm a little strained on time. I'm always late, but yeah. Actually, I think it's a little too low and like swooping. I'm not sure though. Actually, I think I'm happy with that. So I'm gonna leave it like that for now and we'll see. I know it's not the best, but I'm just not good at makeup, y'all. Oh, I think, oh, okay. I like the shape of that. I like the shape of that. Oh, wait, that doesn't look half bad. Of course, I know I need to color it in, but that, that actually might look better than this side. Oh my god, wait. Okay, I like that, I like that. I don't wanna mess with that side too much. I'm just gonna add a little bit like around here. 
yeah because i like my eye shape quite a bit i think it's like an almond or something i'm not sure but i like how it looks it's just this always i think adds more to it okay i think i know what the issue is this one's a bit higher up which is good this one's a bit more lower down but i'm not sure if i should, <laughs> should just leave it this okay no i definitely like how this looks this i'll try to make it more like this i have to make it more upwards i think Ooh, that is that is not it oh god that's horrible okay okay that's Oh wait, it looks so much better on camera. <gasps> wait, that looks okay. I like that. How I like how that looks. I just I don't want to ruin it, but I feel like it should have more. Okay, I don't think that ruined it. Okay, okay, okay. What is? I don't want to ruin it. Um, it took way too long, but we finally did it. I think this is the first time I've actually successfully done eyeliner. So that is an accomplishment in itself. So I'm just gonna leave it like this. I'm happy how this looks. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the trick that I always use when it comes to my lashes. Uh, I showed you all this in another video, but you're just gonna wanna get a little bit, put it on your finger like that, and then you're gonna rub it in, and then you're just gonna go like this on your eyelashes. So I'm just gonna do that. Yay, okay. So that, people wouldn't expect it, but it actually makes quite a difference, at least in person. So I'm happy with this. Okay, so I am all ready now. I'm really happy with how this turned out. Actually, I was pleasantly surprised because I didn't think I'd be able to do the eyeliner, but I was really happy that finally, after so many years, I've just been able to do it, which is great. And um, I honestly think that I'm just gonna wear my white Converse because I don't feel like wearing um, heels because that is, just too much for right now. Also, I low-key wanted to rant to y'all. So you know how using makeup is like just a really normal thing? I really, really wanna learn how to properly put on makeup and have that natural look because I feel like I just feel so pretty with it. But the issue with that is so many girls that I've been talking to have been saying that when they use makeup, you feel like not confident without it. Like it's kind of like wearing a mask. When you're at, like, at school, you don't really want to take your mask off if you feel more comfortable with it on. So I don't want to, I don't want to feel like I constantly have to have like another face on mine when I wear makeup. And I don't want to feel like without makeup, I can't feel comfortable with myself because it's so important for so many girls to just feel beautiful in their own skin. And I just, I feel like it would look so cool and I just really want to see how pretty it would look with makeup. But at the same time, you never want to get stuck in like that place where you don't feel comfortable without applying other things on yourself. Yeah, so that's just my mini rant for y'all. Because I think that it's like a really important thing that so many girls are struggling with. Now I'm going to pack my purse and I'll show y'all my two favorite purses that I have. First this purse, my absolute favorite. I've shown y'all this so many times and I'm probably going to be wearing this purse today because it matches my outfit. I wanted to show y'all one of my second favorite purses. Actually, it's not second, it's just, I don't use it as much, but it's definitely one of my favorite because it's just so gorgeous. And I just haven't been given it enough credit. It's this one, it is so beautiful. Um, the brand is Divina Firenze. Um, yeah, Firenze, it's uh, made in Italy. I probably absolutely botched that name. I'm so sorry to all Italians. If that is in Italian, I'm not sure. Um, but it's gorgeous. It has such a nice like leather design and it came with a tag saying it's 100% real leather, which is so amazing because we got it for so cheap. We were in Canada and we were in this department store. So I, um, it was one of the stores where it's like, if something doesn't sell in its, originally, it's in its original store, they bring it to this department store and sell it for a lot cheaper. So it was an absolute steal. It has these gorgeous studs on the bottom, which I'm in love with. I think it adds such a nice like pop of color. And I love this part. If they didn't have this extra thing, I don't know if I would have gotten it, but it's just like, I just think the bottom adds so much to the entire bag and it's so elegant so beautiful it's 100 percent like my favorite bag i just don't use it as much because it doesn't match all of my outfits and it is a bit bigger but i just like the colors are gorgeous the leather is in perfect condition so i was so surprised that nobody got it before me because i heard that it was there for a bit we checked through every seam all the leather patterns there wasn't like a single scratch there still isn't a single scratch it's been holding up really well even though i do use it all the time in canada i haven't worn it so much here but it's just beautiful and it's real leather so it's amazing it has so much extra like space it has three zippers 
So I love organizing my bags. I love just being organized. So I always use the zippers for a different thing. And as well as this, it comes with an extra strap that is a lot longer. So you can like wear it as a long bag. Um, instead of just a little shoulder purse, you can wrap it around yourself. But personally, I'm not a huge fan of like bags with really long straps. I love bags with short little tight straps like this. So you can just wear it right here and it's right up here on you. Um, I love bags like that. It's my favorite, so I just keep it like this. As well as that, I just like the contrast between the two colors because I feel like if it was all black, it would look too plain. But this pop-up color here, including, and this, it just adds so much to it because I stick to like a brown, gold, and black pattern as a base and it's just so beautiful. And as well as this, um, I love boba. I think it tastes delicious and it's one of my favorite drinks, um, especially since I moved to Singapore because they have such good boba here. So I have two little boba charms on it and it also just suits the color aesthetic, so I kept it. Um, my friend gave me this one. I think it was, it was either for my birthday or Christmas. I think it was for Christmas. Uh, one of my best friends, they got me this, so I just love it so much. And then I also have this little charm. It's gorgeous. It's probably also one of my favorite charms that I have. It has this cute little like character bear inside and it has like this jelly thing that moves. And it comes with like a little bell and a little, um, and a small handle that tells, says bear's milk tea. So I just think it's so cute and everything fits the color scheme. So this is definitely one of my favorite bags. But I usually tuck the charms inside when my bag's just hanging up and it's not in use because I don't want like the weight of it to just crease it this way if it stays like this for too long because it is like, it's not super heavy but they're two charms so I just want to be safe with that. But yeah, that is my favorite bag. It was such a steal, so beautiful. But out of all of my purses and bags that I have, these two are my absolute favorite. Um, they are so beautiful and I just love them. And I like that they're like contrasting colors. So I can use them at any time and it's just perfect because I at least have one amazing bag to fit my outfit depending on what color I want to match it or contrast my outfit with. But for today, I'm going with this because the restaurant is really elegant and I want to keep it to a nice minimalist, just white cream colored vibe. Um, so I'm going to use this bag and you guys can pack it with me. So I'll show you all what's in my bag. So I always keep a comb. This is mostly for when my hair is straightened though, so I think I'll take it out because there's no way I can comb curly hair. And then I have my wallet that I got from Miniso that y'all have already seen. But I think I'm just gonna be packing my wallet and then enough space for my phone to go in and my headphones and that's all I'm gonna bring. Okay, so now you just gotta roll this for luck. Um, I'm gonna get my shoes and I think I wanna use my basic Converse that I have. Um, these are these shoes. Um, I always wear them and they match my color scheme that I'm going for today, so I'm just gonna wear these. Also, they're super comfy. actually caught in quite a bit of traffic but we are finally here and it is so gorgeous but I'm so hungry so I'm so excited to eat. Um, the restaurant's super noisy but it's really pretty. I'm actually having a really good time because it's really nice mood lighting here and there's a whole aquarium section full of lobsters that I really want to see. Right now I'm thinking of getting the lobster laksa and then also the lobster nuggets because I always get those but the lobster la laksa is a new thing that I want to try.
had the lobsters and it was so cool. And then we got uh, Shirley Temple, which I always get at every place, especially bars. I always get a Shirley Temple and they had it specially made. So I'm super happy. It's like my favorite thing. It's cool little gadgets for how to like de-shell a lobster. So it's super cool. There's like these pincher thingies, but I like them because they're like in the design of lobster claws. So it's super cool. So my lobster, or my laksa is coming with like half a lobster, so they gave me a bib, which is hilarious, and it's so that I don't like spray a bunch of stuff on me. So I will just be wearing this for the rest of the night, 100%, all of the photos that I post on Instagram, you will see this on me. It's a joke, I'm not actually gonna. They gave me the bib thing because um, I have laxa, so if I like try to de-shell the lobster, it'll just spray everywhere and I have a white dress So I actually might wear this not just as a joke because I don't want to ruin my white dress Amazing but I have no idea how I'm supposed to even start to eat it, but we will try. First, I'm gonna try the soup. It looks so good. It tastes really good. Oh, yeah. And there's also. It looks like, amazing. Yeah, and then there's also some tofu. I don't know if I'm supposed to cut it or not, but. Mm. It's really crispy and nice. Oh, and I think there's some noodles down here too. Mm -hmm. uh, it's super creamy. The sauce is amazing. Um, it has like a tiny bit of pepper, but it's just so nice. I'm avoiding the lobster a bit because I have no idea how I'm supposed to like de-shell it. There is this, ooh, there's this tail piece that just came off completely. Yeah, this tail piece just came off. Ooh, look at that. Okay, I'm gonna dip it in the sauce a little bit. Should I just eat the whole thing? I don't know how I'm supposed to cut this. Okay, I'm trying to like break this piece apart. So I have this piece of lobster, and I kind of, <laughs> I kind of want to try it with the noodles and the soup a bit. That is amazing. The lobster is like really creamy and light and it just tastes so rich. It's amazing. Oh. I have this. I have to try to figure out how to... Mm. Ooh, look at all that meat. Pointy thingy. Gonna try to oh okay, I'm just gonna go in and try to pull some of it out. I might just go in with my hand. So it seems like it'd be easier. Ooh, there's some more there too. <laughs> it was at this moment he knew he fucked up. Oh, look, there's already crap there. Yeah. There we go. Oh, yeah,
finished eating and I am so full. So I'm glad um, that I only ordered, oh, look how pretty it is here. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I only ordered half of the lobster, not the full one. We are finally heading home. I'm fine. so full, so <laughs> not fine. We're heading home, so I'm so full. Um, the staircase looks so aesthetic, so I took a few photos on there. But yeah, so I am heading home now.